Uh, I mean, that it's just a lot of action. Oh, this is happening. I love the action. Kind of like that open kitchen at Hook. We're having fun over there. Yeah, first of all, how's it going? Hook in St. Clair Shores. I love the logo, thanks, too. Thanks, thanks. Oh, go. I brought wine. Top yourself. Oh, good. Oh, a little nice. Shawnee Shark, Shawnee Rosé, right. Shawnee yeah, Robusto. I mean. That's, those are all our house wines. The, the Rosé we can't keep on the shelves. They're selling it faster than they can manufacture it out. They can you know, bottle it out in Napa Valley. Um, Today we're doing one of our signature dishes. Uh, we're doing a, a pan-seared filet. We do it right in front of you at the chef's table. It's pretty exciting. We use Creekstone Farms, probably one of the best uh, meat manufacturers in the world. What makes it? What? What, what, what is this? It's clean. It's organic. They're very humane. Treat the cows. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's 100 percent all that. Okay. So um, we just gonna lightly put a little house seasoning on on our um, on our filet. We let it rest. Mm -hmm. You're doing this at home. This will be on fox2.com. Okay. Bobby, we we're will... looking at some images of the restaurant. It looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Cool. That was nice of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we, we spent way too much money on this. <laughs> <laughs> sick to my stomach. We got nice. contractors calling. Hey, can you send me some money? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm good for it. <laughs> so we're going to put this on. We're going to heat the pan up, then add our oil. The reason why we do that is you, you put the oil in a cold pan and you bring it up to temperature, you start smoking like crazy right mm. out of the gate. Yeah. So, and then you lose some of that flavor. Um, I try to stay away from the seed oils at the restaurant. We don't use any seed oils, olive oils, stuff, uh, stuff like that, stuff of that nature. So four minutes aside will give you a perfect medium rare. You're always gonna take your filet out. You're gonna let it rest for a few minutes prior to service, okay? Um, also, you see this nice bark on the outside of this? Gorgeous. Oh, wow. that, wow. that's, that's, that's singing to me. You know what's oh telling me? Oh my gosh. Throw the garlic in, Chef Bobby. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're going to throw some garlic cloves in there. <laughs> Tell me. We're going to throw some whole rosemary sprigs in there. Wow. Okay. Mm. And then, hey, Chef John. Oh, there's my skin right there. Fresh rosemary, a little bit of thyme, not too much. It's extremely pungent. Okay, and then this is where all the fun starts. So we're you're doing this, this table yeah. side? At but no, right, right at the chef's table. It's like a big oh, island. Chef's table. Right, chef's right behind it, cooking behind it. Very it's really nice. cool. Very nice. So then we're going to add some whole butter, unsalted butter to this. Oh my. Okay, a couple tablespoons of butter. That's going to, we're going to turn this flame down a little bit. All right. And what's going to happen is this butter is going to start to melt and it's going to start picking up all the aromatics from that garlic, the rosemary. I love time. the simplicity of this. You're not chopping, you're not shaving the garlic, you're just no, throwing just, it all in this there. Is very simple. I'm going to turn that flame back on a second. So, um, as the butter melts, it starts making this beautiful sauce. This steak's going to be medium rare. We prefer medium rare to medium. Anything over than that, you're just killing this beautiful, expensive piece of steak. Killing it. Yeah. That's you're right. ruining it. Yes. Don't so ruin it. We're just going to keep basting it mm -hmm. like that. Right. We have a beautiful uh, Michigan grown house asparagus that's in season right now. And it's just simple. Uh, we're going to do garlic, a little bit of olive oil, finish it with a little butter, and uh, fresh shaved Parmesan. Oh boy. Bobby, can I talk to you about the crab cake situation? <laughs> yeah. So we were on 4th of July. Yeah. We had to close yeah. at 8 o'clock because we, we ran out of food. We literally ran out of crab cake mix. Wow. We did and these. People wanted to just yeah. like take we, me out back. We did the, the show shed. from Hook on July 4th. Oh, I remember oh. it was fun. And um, yep. so the crab cakes. Now, I've talked I, I, I talk to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They cannot stop talking about the crab cake situation. <laughs> One East Coast guy says you can't get a crab cake like that outside of the city of Boston. Nice. So yeah. We're showing them like right Maryland. now. Is it the, because you use uh, a good um, ratio. Jumbo lump crab meat. Um, there's barely any breadcrumb in there at all. Just like maybe 10% of what mm -hmm. normal recipes require. Uh, I, I perfected this, I think. Uh, due to like, we use a heavy, uh, like a Hellman's mayonnaise, a real good Dijon mustard, and we buy the best crab meat money can buy. It's jumbo lump, it's not the tiny little flakes, it looks like a can of tuna fish, it's all broken up. Uh, it's about $38 a pound. Order crab cakes such as this, nine ounces of crab cake, is only $26. It really is my loss leader at the restaurant, bring people in. I don't make a lot of money, I might make two bucks on an order, but it brings people in, try the crab cakes, this is what a crab cake's supposed to taste like. Amazing. They buy a nice glass of wine, they turn a little profit on the wine, or an appetizer, or dessert, and everybody's happy. What, Amen to um, that, buddy. So. The restaurant is full. Oh, we gotta go. Okay. Next hour. Wh when do we get to eat the crab cakes? Is that next you hour? You can you can help yourself. Long as uh, Scott's stage hands, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a next hour, Dina. <laughs> 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 Scotty.
Daddy. See, you got to ask the big fella. Wow. You got to ask the big fella. Yeah, we do. So, uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll try the crab cakes. And we're going to do a, a really cool twist on a bronzino when we come back. Oh. Yeah, the bone marrow is oh. our number one uh, selling uh, meat appetizer. No um, we have the Davis salad, the Seven Seas salad. Our food is really clean. I, I honestly, I, I really use the best ingredients. I'm not just saying that because I'm on TV and I have an opportunity to, to lie about it. I, I, I'm really passionate about people eating really good, clean food. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive than your average restaurant, but the quality surpasses the price line. I would say yeah. buy good food and you spend yeah. less money on medicine. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. Bobby, thank you. Thanks for having me on Fox All 2. Right. Love you, Detroit. Yes. Uh, Lori, over to you.